The table is not merely set. It is consecrated, a place where intention manifests and artifice becomes form, where elegance is not decoration, but an expression of cultivated simplicity, each element laid to reflect a purpose beyond necessity. The linen, clean and pristine, invites hands that appreciate its silent, folded language, its touch meant only to amplify what is to come. Crystal glasses stand poised, anticipating the poor as an inevitable descent, a liquid descent that brings with it the earth's depths, warmed by the sun, cooled by the night's stillness, shaped by time and patience into something that is both itself and something far beyond. Each sip holds not just flavor, but the quiet echo of seasons, weathered vines, and hands that toiled to bring forth life from soil. Plates arrive like revelations, their contents poised, unhurried in their stillness, crafted with a deliberateness that speaks of restraint as much as creativity. A single leaf, a sprinkle of salt. These are not decorations, but statements, chosen and placed with the eye of an artist who sees the inherent truth of each ingredient and dares not intrude upon it with the unnecessary. In the texture of each bite, there lies a history. The ingredients do not disguise themselves. For to taste is to understand their origins, the farms, the fields, the waters from which they came. This dining is a communion with that origin, a chance to taste not simply food, but the hands, the earth, the quiet hours between night and dawn, when the world is still and the work begins. As flavors unfold, they do not assault the palate, but beckon, coaxing the senses into recognition, revealing layers slowly, as if whispering secrets meant for those willing to pause, to savor without the rush of hunger, but with the patience of reverence. There is salt, yet not too much, a whisper of sweetness, but never cloying. Bitterness that holds its own, grounding each taste as if to remind the mouth that this is not a journey of fleeting pleasures, but of measured fulfillment. Around the table, silence drapes itself like an honored guest, a sign of the respect each person holds for the food, for the hands that prepared it, and for the time that this meal embodies. Words, if they come, are hushed, born not from necessity, but from the shared recognition that here, in this moment, one does not consume, but rather participates in a dance between self and sustenance. Here, dining is not an act of mere survival or indulgence, but a ritual, a measured unfolding of experience that transcends the boundaries of taste to touch the realm of the existential. The meal, in its entirety, is a reminder of mortality, of the fleeting beauty in transience. For when the plates are cleared and the glass is empty, all that remains is the echo of something once present, now gone. A memory, a lingering note on the senses, a pause.